Come on, Vaminus. Everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Where are we going? Into the Rose Tower. Where are we going? To the Rose Tower. Good evening, everybody. My name is Fluid Destiny, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. On the last episode, we... I honestly don't know what happened. We challenged Hop, and we were getting ready to um, defeat the champion tomorrow. But then the champion was called to a meeting with the chairman in Rose Tower, and we're going to rescue him? I'm slightly confused. That's about it. Um, hopefully all of this, what we're about to do, will clarify everything. But I left... Like, I'm pretty sure Hop was right in front of the tower. And then I left to talk to Pierce and Marnie. Piers and Marnie. And then he disappeared. And then I found this. Oh, hey, look. I see another Pokeball over there. Anyways, Eerie Impulse. Um, the user's body generates an Eerie Impulse, exposing the target to its harshly... Exposing the target to it harshly lowers the target's special attack stat. Huh. Anyways, I saw a Pokeball up there. Are there any more anywhere else? Doesn't look like it. I'm surprised that I even found that one. Oh, it's a cell battery! Boost attack of the hold. It boosts attacks that the holder is hit with the electric sap attack and only be used once. Huh. Cool. Oh, oh, hop! Didn't you leave? What? Oh, oh, he's gone. Huh, interesting. Let's go, Flurry. Uh, okay, Hop. Right. You gotta stop disappearing on me. You gotta stop disappearing on me like that, man. <gasps> Roses? Whoa. Whoa, it's huge in here. What in the world is this place meant to be? He's on a bed of roses. Um, listen, Flurry. Don't know if you knew this already, but I've heard Rose Tower was built on a power spot. Yeah, you know what I'm s- You know what I'm saying. When we get up to the roof and have a bit of space, we can Dynamax that Pokemon. Why, though? Which is all well and good, but less certain is whether this lift can get us to the top. Rose Tower has like a hundred floors, right? Um, you'll be leaving right now, so there's no need to worry about the lift. That is a big lift. Intr intruder alert! Intruder alert! All staff are ordered to help remove the intruders from the premises at once. She sounds like a very overachieving staff member. Like, I bet you the chairman doesn't even know anything about this. See? If Miss Oleana says so, then it looks like this is the end of the line for you kids. If I get rid of the intruders, I'll probably get a big bonus. Oh, adults. All they care about is bonuses. Yeah, it's true. Did I do it? Oh no. Oh, I did. Having to give up my pocket money. Losing means I'm back in the red. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel bad now. Maybe you really do deserve a bonus. My bonus. My dream of finally affording a house of my own. Aw, oh, man. I feel like that's everyone's dream. That's so sad. I feel bad now. We need to speak with Chairman Rose. Tell us where he is. Get on the lift. The chairman's at the top of the building. All right, we're nearly to the to Chairman Rose. Um, hold on, Lee. We're coming. Come on, Flurry. Let's crack on. Can I save first? All right, let's go. This is a giant lift. Whoa. Oh wait, I'm so silly. Oh wait, no, it is. What? This is a giant lift. Well, elevator. This is taking ages. What? I don't think we're at the roof yet. Why have we stopped? That's why. <gasps> is it a double battle? You two are gym challengers, aren't you? Thank you for taking part in the Gala League's gym challenge. Yet, I'm afraid that doesn't give you the right to interfere in our work. We will drive you out to protect the many subsidiary companies housed here in Rose Tower. Behold the gloriously high-tech elevators of Rose Tower, able to withstand Pokemon battles. 
All right. They are constructed by the subsidiary Macrocosmos Construction. What is this Macros Cosmos? Um, Jane and Mateo. Oh, Mateo. Um. Oh, so cute! Oh, I want it so badly! What type are you, you little elephant? You're so cute, I want you. Where do I find a lot of these Pokemon? I feel like I barely found any of them in the wild areas. Sweet! You're so cute! I want you! Did I do it? I did. I done did. We've created an extraordinary lift that's safe even for a Pokemon battle. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos construction when it comes to our dedicated comes to our dedication to our work. Heck yeah, 19,000 boy! Thank you, Luck Incense. If I've been defeated, I have little choice but to respectfully retreat. Yet, I must ask once more that you please do not interfere with Chairman Rose's work. Um, the elevators in Rose Tower are constructed so that only the floor ascends, but that presents some danger. Thus, the presence of these walls constructed of light. Alright. You can thank Microcosmic's construction for providing this wonderful technology as well. Alright then, goodbye! Wait. So the folks working in the tower can stop the elevator from the outside at any time? Yeah? Isn't that how elevators work? We're just trying to get to the top already. Our teams have been working themselves ragged for us. Let me heal them all up. Thank you. Oh, hello there! Rose Tower is almost a thousand feet tall. You are now above 500. F you are now about 500 feet above the ground. Everything's recording, right? For some reason, I get this weird anxiety that nothing is recording correctly. Um, I'm from MC Insurance. Do you have a life insurance policy? As a matter of fact, my dude, I do have a life insurance policy. Thank you very much. Um, Kevin and Carla. Clang and Mawal. Ooh, both steel types. Oh, man, it is a good thing I still got Sizzler. <gasps> no! How dare! Nobody can beat MC Insurance when it comes to our dedication to our work. The other guy said the same thing, the construction guy, right? This building's well over 500 feet tall. That's as tall as around 100 machokes standing on top of each other. Okay. I'm quite terrified of heights, actually. Same. Mostly it's the folly, not the heights themselves. Unfortunately, our insurance doesn't pay out for being defeated in Pokemon battles. Aww. Then again, um, Pokemon, our Poke Centers are free. So, uh, come here often? You're nearly to the top, but you'll not be meeting the chairman. I've got no fear of heights. What? I work high in the skies during my job for the lofty macrocosmos air. Oh. Hi, Ben. Adeline and Justin. Steelix and Stunfisk. Okay, I think they're both part ground type. I think. I know Stunfisk is. So let's go ahead and use you. Oh, okay. They're both super effective. Sweet. Hurricane? Oh, that's a flying type move. Ooh. I remember you. Uh, this may also confuse the target. Oh, its accuracy is so bad, though. So bad. There should be a held item that boosts accuracy. So maybe I'll go ahead and do... Oh, wait, but I gave it to Vaporeon. Dang it. You know what? Whatever. Let's try it. Let's do it. See what happens. Heck yeah. I just realized it's like already nighttime, so I don't even need this blanket anymore. All right. Nobody can beat Macrocosmos air when it comes to our dedication to our work. 
You said that already. Do you ever get that floaty feeling when a lift is going up? Every, I think everyone does. I kind of do. Don't you presume to meet the chairman. You're not on the same level as such a great man. Oh my. You must know that in high rises such as this one, the higher you go, the more important the people you find working there. You're right. Chairman Rose is at the top of the top. Not just of this tower, but all of Gaylor. What? Why? Is this a cult? Look as, um... Looks as though we're nearly there, mate. Look sharp, let's do this. Whoa. Oh, that is be- it's Oleana? I'm- I'm gonna save again. Oleana, are you the- are you the mastermind behind this cult? Is that the feeling I'm getting? I really think Chairman Rose knows nothing about this. Welcome to Chairman Rose's exclusive space. Here, here, nearly a thousand feet above the earth. So, you got through all of the special staff that I had ordered to stop you. I would expect nothing less of the trainers handpicked by Champion Leon himself. But I am afraid it is now time for you to go home. Why? Because... <sighs> I will not allow anyone to disturb the great Chairman Rose. Oh my god, she crazy! You shall be the first, Fleury. If I beat you to pieces, then the Champion will have no one to battle and will thus lose heart. In that state, he will listen to anything the chairman says. Oh god, she crazy! Yeah, Juliana! Oh, why is she... Uh, frostless? Oh, Frostless! Oh my god, why is she crazy? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, so most likely she's gonna uh, Gigamax the last uh, Pokemon. So let's go ahead and fire Lashia. Hex, how dare! Oleana, where is the wind coming from? It's blowing your hair and your coat. Oh god. My, how cheeky to do such a thing as to hurt my partner. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, girl. But you crazy, and you need to go down. I don't know why you're like this. Are you, are you by chance obsessed with the chairman? Milotic? Okay, that's a water type. I love Milotic, man. Ooh. I like the drum beat going on with this song. <laughs> then we'll go ahead and use Overdrive. Ooh. Nice. I'm sorry, Milotic, but you go down. Salazar? Oh, right, right, right. Um, Poison Fire, right? That's Is that the one from the Alola region? Is that the one where they only evolve as female, but the females are really rare to come by? I think that's a Fire Poison, so let's go with Vaporeon. It would be better if I had Ground-type moves, but I don't. Oh, it is! Ah, oh, so pretty. Um... Dude, she has a lot of the, like the really. The only way to describe it is like they're like the beauty Pokemon. You know what I mean? Oh, is that what they're trying to tell us? That she's a very strong, independent woman. Her Pokemon are also strong and independent, just like her. I kind of like that. I really do. Serena, I've never. What? What is that Pokemon? Serena? That sounds like a. It kind of sounds like a fairy type. Let's take out Noi. We'll take out Toxtricity. Let's not chance Noivern. Oh! That's what your name is. I didn't know. Uh, Poison Jab, because I think you're Grass type. You're really pretty. You know, for a strong and independent lady, you seem really obsessed about the chairman. What's up with that? Garbodor? Wait, isn't Garbodor like the trash Pokemon, or is it something else? Hold on, I'm gonna look up what Garbodor is because it might not actually be the trash Pokemon. I wanna make, this is gonna be her Dynamax Pokemon, so I wanna make sure I got the right one. Oh, it is! 
So you are pure poison, so I need ground or psychic. I'm going to chance Hatch Hatterene. Uh, Hatterene? Hatterene? I'm gonna chance you because you have Psybeam. So just please don't die. Wait! Oh no, no, no. This is my last Pokemon? Seriously? Oleana's gotta finish this. Why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Also, I uh, I think I'm okay. I thought Hatterene was part fairy, but I think it's just pure psychic. So let's Dynamax. We're gonna use Max Mindstorm. I think I'll treat you to something truly spectacular. As she, I had no idea what she said. She's so angry. Is she stressed? Is she stressed that that's what is that what's happening? Whoa. Excuse me, Garbodor. You seem to have a boat and a plane in you. Are you are you okay? Do you want us to remove those? Beautiful. Mmm. Also. Oh my poor capture card. It's fine. We'll be fine. It's fine. It's fine. This will be fine. It's fine. It's fine. Max Quake. Oh no 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 no. Please be okay, baby. <gasps> okay, we're good. We're good. Woo. We're okay. It's fine, it's fine, we're okay. Get him, boy! Mm. What do we got? Battlefield got weird. Okay, so... Trying this again. Well, I couldn't use Max Guard. What does this do? Nah! Max Mindstorm! Get him, boy! Oh, here's a move I was good with even before I changed my image. Before you changed your image? G Max something. Ah! Ah! Train! Uh oh. Uh, okay. What else defeats poison? Not much. Hold on. Someone who isn't that affected against. We'll take out toxicity. You're not that affected against poison types. What I want to do though- Oh wait, no! He knows ground type moves! Ah, oh, dang it! Oh, I'm so scared. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take- We're gonna use- We're gonna go back here, use Revival Herb on my girl, and- Oh man, I'm so scared. He's probably gonna use- Oh, I knew it! Forgot he had ground type moves! Oh, baby boy, I'm sorry! Let's take out Noivern? We'll take out Noivern. Hopefully, because it should be okay again. Oh, whoo! I should have taken out Hatchery. Oh well, it's fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use Dragon Pulse. Okay, the special defense should be. Oh shoot, Toxic Spikes. Man, I can't switch to Hatchery anymore. Its special defense should be super high, so maybe we'll use a physical attack? Yeah, we'll use Steel Wing. Gunk Shot? Ew. Oh my, that's pretty powerful. Ah, dang it. Man, this Garbodor is actually giving me more trouble than I thought. Aww. So let's go ahead... Will we use Steel Wing again? It should be stronger. Yeah, stronger than Bite, so we'll just use you again. I could use Hurricane, but hopefully we'll be okay. Please be okay. Ah, no, Noivern! I'm sorry, baby! Okay, Hatchering. Please, please be okay. Unless she uses a full restore, then I'm gonna be really upset. Ah, I forgot about you. Dang it. So, Psybeam. Wait, I think has... Okay, we're gonna use Psybeam. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Beep. Beep, 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 beep. Ah. Wait, so is Hatchin actually part fairy type? If it is, then my bad. Mm. We're gonna switch to Vaporeon for now. And I want to at least revive Hatchin because I want her to level up more. Ah, uh, I am having so much trouble with this. Stop using Gunk Shot, that's so annoying. Why are you using Toxic Spikes again? That makes no sense. I did it. 
finally. And a critical hit, lovely. I wonder if the Garbodor is a reflection of her past self, because she mentioned something about that. Possible. Yay! Oh, I wasn't able to win. Oliana, you really are a hopeless woman. Don't say that, girl! You have to believe in you. You can't um, expect... A mm, how should I put it? You can't go crazy over a man, girl. You gotta go crazy over yourself. Ugh, this is inexcusable. What was I thinking? Any gym challenger who's made it this far would be no pushover. Under normal circumstances, I would have tried to delay you further. However, all the necessary wishing stars have been collected. Do as you wish. There is nothing to be done now. Typical Flurry. You and Center Scorch are unstoppable. Alright, goodbye. Everything I did. I did to further the chairman's own goals. Ah, so he's the real mastermind. And you're just star crazy over him. Leon, we've discussed this a hundred times already. And still, you fail to understand what's at stake? You, who is supposed to be our champion. I think I understand well enough. What I don't understand is why we ought to cancel tomorrow's tournament in order to solve a problem that's a thousand years away from affecting any of us. Really? What difference is one day going to make? My duty as champion is in this, this madness. It's to carry out that championship match. That's what Gaylor wants, and what I want. It's what we've all been looking forward to for so long. No. You don't understand. You still don't understand a thing. Look around us, Leon. Look at the Gaylor region stretched out before us. I see it. This is really pretty watercolors. I know that the energy required to keep this brilliant, glittering, glittering world alive will be exhausted a millennium from now. Okay, dude, calm down. The people of Gaylor today will no longer even exist. What Gaylor wants today hardly matters. The future is more important than just one day. We must act as quickly as we possibly can. Interesting. We must take action in order to avert tragedy so that all can look forward to a better future. In a thousand years? Fine. Or fine, look. I think I understand your concerns, Chairman, and I've given, and I give my word I'll help you with your plans, just as soon as tomorrow's match is over. Interesting. Lee, you never showed when you were supposed to, so I got worried that something had happened. Pierce and Marnie and all those Team Yell oddballs, they all helped us out to get here. I must apologize to you, Hop if we've made you worry at all. There are times when adults just can't seem to have an honest discussion with one another. Sometimes our pride just gets in the way. Never mind any of this, Hop, Fleury. Let's head back to the hotel, and we'll all grab dinner together, yeah? It's on me, so you can order whatever you fancy. If you'll excuse us, Chairman Rose, and I do hope you'll watch tomorrow's match. It's sure to be one of the history books. One for the history books, excuse me. My player can't read. One for the history books. You still don't understand, young champion. We, no, I am going to change the course of history. What are you doing? The next evening. Okay. This is it. Did you get enough sleep? You and your team are the ones battling, but I've had Butterfree in my stomach since I woke up. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. Oh, it's her. 
Challenger Fleury? The finals will be starting shortly. I'm here to escort you to the stadium. What's all this? Didn't you... Didn't learn your lesson yesterday? If you need another helping of Hop and his trusty Inteleon, I'll be happy to give you one. No, wait, please. I'm not like those other League staff. I'm a good one, if I may say so myself. Oh, alright. I heard about what happened yesterday. Miss Oleana can be a little extreme in her desire to assist the chairman with his goals, I'm afraid. It seems she was cultivating her own group of League staff in secret to be deployed for, well, things like that debacle last night. But you've no need to worry about today's staff. All of us are here for the right reasons. Oh, this is interesting. Well, that's what she says. I guess we trust her then, yeah, Fleury? Let's go! I can't wait another minute! Oh, okay. Would you like me to show you t the way to Winden Stadium? Uh... It's okay, I can go there by myself. Understood. Come talk with me again if you need any help, or use one of the flying taxis out front. Uh, with that, okay, so I said no because I actually, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, so many more is going on. Um, Oleana is just desperate to help the chairman, even though I'm pretty sure she's a strong, independent woman. She is his assistant, after all. Um, the chairman has this desire to keep Gaylor alive from this tragedy that's gonna happen in a thousand years, which is a debate right now, isn't it? Like, today or the future? Which should we prioritize on? That's basically what's going on in this game, from what it sounds like so far. Hopefully, all that's left is just to do the championships. Actually, probably not, because we still haven't even seen um, the main Pokemon. So, I, th I think we have maybe one or two more episodes left of this series, which... Half of me is thinking, thank goodness, because I've been trying to finish this game since November. And two, it's a little sad because, you know, I've been playing this game since November. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you're enjoying the video as much as I am enjoying this game. Uh, if you want to talk more about the Pokemon anime or any of the other Pokemon games, please leave them in the comments below. Um, so, with that said... This has been Fleury Destiny, and I'll see you on the next episode of Pokemon Sword. Goodbye! But seriously, I think there's a meaning into her Pokemon choices, because all of them were considered like very feminine, very pretty Pokemon, except for Garbodor. But then again, he could Garbodor could be a queen- was Garbodor a female? Garbodor could be a queen in her own way. She may be trash, but she's also a queen.